What's up everyone, this is Brian C and let's get started. So on today's video, we are unboxing and testing out a Zion brand. This is a Transmount Servo Zoom slash Focus Motor Max for your Weevil S gimbal or similar product. This also attaches to your DSLR camera specifically. So if you are a videographer, you can actually attach this to your camera as long as you get a Zion brand or compatible gimbal products and camera. So this one here, you can actually purchase this in a bundle with the Weevil Lab. Yeah, and I actually got the Weevil S last year, 2020, and I, it's just a basic one, but the Weevil Lab comes with everything. So I just waited to be able to save up a little for me to be able to get this beast here. Now, um, here's the box here, the front of the box, here's the side of the box. And the back of the box there's nothing much now let's go ahead and open this beast up and see what you guys can get okay it's actually a really nice sturdy box and if you guys are wondering where I actually got this from I actually purchased this through Amazon now this is the first one here this is where your tread is so you guys can see this is a black tread robbery material bendable that you wrap it around your camera lens and then the next part is you actually got your manual here and of course not everyone actually reads the manual but this will be very helpful just to be clear there this one here is in Chinese and I'm hoping that there is okay there we go the English version okay <laughs> I was a little bit afraid there for a second now the first one we're gonna check out is the USB-C cable here now this is a USB-C to USB-C which is actually quite nice now let's go ahead and find out how short this cable is okay now this is about six inches in length I'm really bad at length but it's short enough which is actually not bad now the next one is a metal piece here so this one here is a aluminum feel black not bad okay now the next one is okay not bad at all just your regular knob and then the next one is another attachment with the knob there and then last but not the least the important piece is uh, the servo itself which is actually quite nice so there's your attachment there your USB-C uh, port and this is actually the rotor here you get the knob there that you can actually tighten it that's practically it now let's go ahead and install this to uh, the Weeble S and see how well it's gonna work out but before doing that let's do a quick check off the manual here now let's go for the English version here okay so this is actually a straightforward you get the rod the support bracket, the long screw, USB-C cable, gear ring, so this is what it's called. Okay. And this is definitely the Weevil. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this piece together, shall we? Okay, so this should be a very easy installation here. I actually got the plate for on my Weevil S here. And underneath you actually get some uh, slots there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this slot here to my left to install the support brackets here. So the first thing that we'll need is the round rod here. And then just make sure that the thread is uh, sticking away from you. And then you can actually secure it. The next part is you flip the uh, plate over and remember your support bracket actually have indentation there 
and then just lay it flat if you can put something underneath there to actually elevate the the what you call this out the panel and then just use your uh, locking screw here and then secure it easily there you might have a little bit of an issue but over time you might get used to it okay. see I'm even having my own issue here <laughs> okay secure 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 nope it's not securing I screwed up there so it takes practice but you'll actually get it <laughs> and I actually got it there you go and this is actually where this uh, plate here is for my Weevil S and this is where you place the camera now the next part is your zoom servo control here now this one here the gear should be pointing towards where you will be placing your camera here so this one here the directional uh, panel there so the lens sh should be uh, like sticking out the opposite of where that arrow is and the gear here should be pointing away from you when you're installing it then you put it in place and there you go easy as that <laughs> you can actually make adjustments afterwards uh, depending on how uh, big your the lens that you're going to be using now during my checking and I actually did <laughs> cheated here uh, the manual it uh, will actually show you um, the types of items so here you have your crane lab tree and on the box there if you don't have it or yours broke there's apparently a slot there on the on the box there same goes for the weevil lab yeah and the weevil lab actually got everything so if yours broke down you can actually purchase one in amazon now let's go ahead and install this beast on the gimbal here okay so this is actually a very easy installation and that's it but then there's the catch you actually need to have your camera <laughs> so there will be some added weight my suggestion is is just remove the rod here and the servo and you can just leave the sport bracket uh, installed now I'm just gonna mention this now I actually did try to actually install this on its right side it is actually possible but will be hard it's depending on the type of camera you're using and the lens as well so this is definitely made to be installed on its left side it I even actually showed on the manual here that all the installation is specifically for the left side of your gimbal okay now once you actually install the whole panel all you have to do is just slide the rod in and properly secure it plain and simple now of course it will never be plain and simple now there's one thing I do want to make a note of the what do you call this now the gear rings there's two of them so if one breaks you get another one or if you want to switch lenses you can just install the other one easily of course you're still gonna have to make some uh, minor adjustments for the balance of your gimbal here now let's go ahead and take this apart and I'll show you guys how to install this with a DSLR camera okay before moving uh, to the initial uh, gimbal setup here I actually forgot to mention how to install the tread here on your um, zoom lens here so I'm actually using my Tamron lens here for my 70-70 it's actually very simple now well it's a little bit more complicated I'll be honest <laughs> okay so the first thing you need to do is remove the locking mechanism there it's actually very simple and make sure the teeth is actually uh, pointing out and then you can either do this like a dough but uh, <laughs> you might not be able to see where you're installing it so you can actually just rotate it around now you got to remember you got to make it as tight as possible because you're going to be using the servo and if it's uh, loose it will not rotate properly okay so make it as uh, tight as possible without damaging the lens here which is actually very simple now this is a Tamron lens it's actually a little bit 
hard to rotate because I actually don't use this much but the sometimes the test that you can do there you go that means it's actually tight and then and remember you need to install the thread at where you actually zoom use your zoom here okay and it's a CCS that I've actually gone ahead and install the second thread on my Sony a7 III okay here you go this is actually what it looks like when you actually get the support bracket attached to uh, the sliding panel for your Weevil S here and then you even get the thread so it might not look great but it actually does the job now let's go ahead and install this and make sure that your uh, gimbal here is properly secure okay if you don't lock it it might slide out you will be spending a lot of money to buy a new gear or repair now that's how it looks like right now now the next part is actually very simple you can actually slide in the rod here with the servo attached and then oops, make sure that the, the teeth is actually attached together and then make your initial adjustment just tighten this up okay and then tighten up this bracket as well this locking mechanism there you just get to make sure that they are aligned properly sometimes you will actually have to move the uh what do you call this now <laughs> uh this uh, gear ring um either closer uh to the body of the camera or away but right now it looks like it's in a uh, good working condition so let's do a test here by uh, rotating the lens there we go it actually works now you get your USB-C uh, cable here USB-C to USB-C the first one you need to attach on the servo itself and then the next one is uh, right over here there's a USB-C port you install that there Okay, so some minor correction is in order. You can definitely switch your servo from left to right. Of course, further adjustment is needed. I do prefer it on the left side myself, but later on, I'll have to figure it out because I do plan on putting in a wireless transmitter. Now, the next part is your USB-C cable here. Just some extra care because it's a little bit tight and make sure that the latches are secure one wrong move and it might end up wrecking your USB uh, cable or even the port and you might have to send it to the repair center now the next part here is actually the best part is this is plug and play right away once you get everything connected and it's actually quite nice it's really nice now you will definitely have to do some adjustments which we will actually go to the next step here right away Initial setup is actually very simple. All you have to do is go, go to your menu setting, click down, scroll to the wheel. You get three options here. Go to AB point. You get two options here again. I will choose max. Max and light are the same setting. You get A, B, and clear. So A is your start point and B is your end point. I'm using a 2870 millimeter. So 28 is my start point. I'm gonna turn it up all the way to 28 and press right it will give me the check mark then I will turn the knob all the way to 70 there you go if you want to restart it just press clear now this actually prevents you from overusing your uh, servo here burning out the motor and then you get your sensitivity option as well now go back back and you get that sensi now the, the sensitivity setting is for your knob how fast or slow you want it to be so some people prefer it uh, medium I actually prefer it high um, because it's actually the turning rate is a little bit faster but uh, we will go with medium there so that's actually it for the initial setup here now the reason for the setup here is uh, well uh, to prevent uh, your lens or your servo from being damaged by accident 
okay so that is the initial setup it's actually quite um, nice I really enjoyed um, doing this uh, review here for the servo now the servo here is actually the best version that I can find in Amazon there's other version as well this is actually the more powerful version now this is actually a really fun equipment to actually use uh, it actually gives you more opportunity and more options here now you can actually buy this separately like I did or you can actually buy the Weeble Lab that actually comes with the whole set here now definitely worth getting this unit here for special projects just remember the price tag here varies depending on location if you're actually going to buy this locally for online I actually got this through Amazon so you guys can actually check it out I will see if I can leave the link in the description below now I actually do have a couple of upcoming projects here and uh, I'm, a, I'm actually waiting for my monitor um, 4 inch LCD monitor that I'll actually be doing a review later on as well and full on testing now um, I will leave another link as well somewhere here or there for my small rig uh, handlebar review and unboxing that's all the time that I got guys thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to click that subscribe button and uh, remember have fun relax and enjoy if you guys got any special requests for an item for me to review, I will try and acquire that item. Have a good day, good night, afternoon, wherever you are. This is Brian C. signing out.